Hey, Billy Glisson with PowerCore 360. Effortless power in a golf swing gives us distance, action, and consistency. Today we're going to spend some time a little broader view and we're going to talk about how to swing your best when you go to actually play around. Different things you need to be aware of. Um, so let's jump in and get going. First of all, you have to do the prep work. Train your body. We've spent a lot of time showing you how to basically turn your hips, turn your shoulders, load into the body, slang, start to get connected. You have to do the work so your body's physically prepared to go do the work. Secondly, practice. The application doesn't do, any, doesn't do you any good to go do drills to turn your hips and turn your shoulders. If you don't go out, take a club and actually integrate it into your short game, your long game, everything you're going to use to turn your hips and, and body for. Do the application. Do the work. Warm up. Let's spend some time here. Um, there's, there's different ways of warm up. Old school warm up, especially in golf, is there is no warm up. You grab, you go to the first tee, you're running light, you grab the driver, take a couple reps, and either the ball goes right or left or your back goes in the process. Not how you want to prepare. If you want to play like the best golfers in the world, the pros, then you've been training your body, you've been practicing like a pro, now let's warm up like a pro. First of all, no passive stretches. When you do a passive stretch, here's an example. If I'm taking my left arm and I bring it across my chest and I hold it there for 10, 20, 30 seconds, I'm passively stretching that muscle, right? And to do that, it actually shuts the muscle off. We don't want the muscle shut off. Watch a track event, watch any professional Olympic sport, and what you're going to see is the athletes coming into the competition just prior to it, they are doing activation drills. Many of them are doing band exercises to kick muscles on that they're going to use in that sports skill, that sports performance. We don't want you to do passive stretches. We want the muscles on, not off. After your round, you can go and stretch your back, your hip, your shoulder, turn them off. That's when we want them to relax, but we want them excited, activated, warmed up, and ready to perform the movements of the golf swing. Activation. We're going to come back and talk about a whole um, episode on itself, but basically activation is something we do after a good warm up. Um, in activation, we want to wake up the muscles and the movement. So we're going to actually, that's how we do turn them on. We use band exercises. We'll show you that in a separate video. You definitely, after you've done your warm up and your activation, you've got everything moving and prepared. Then we need to go out and actually hit some balls. We need to focus on the timing and being relaxed. We're not judging where the balls are going because as you know, from day to day, depending on your mental state, you may have more grip tension. You've had a tough, stressful day. You've rushed through the course, right? We need to take time to hit balls to get the timing and rhythm down and start to know where the ball's going to that day so you can make some minor adjustments. Pitch, chip, putt. Hey, that's where the scoring comes from. You know it. You need to spend time doing this. Don't just warm up your swing and get your driver swing going and then you skip the putting and the chipping. That's where you're going to spend most of your strokes. Spend the time after you've warmed up your swing, you've got confidence in your swing and where the ball's going to go work on the short game. Eating and hydration. How many times have you been through a round, you're playing 9 or maybe 18, and somewhere 11 or 12, 13 hole, you're playing great, and all of a sudden, you lose your swing, right? You don't know what happens. You've been hitting the ball great, and all of a sudden, your swing's gone. Well, if you're watching the pros on the weekends, you're watching them oftentimes at the turn, and probably even more regularly than that. But worst case for you, at the turn, if you're playing 18, you need to eat something, right? Your brain can't function. And remember, your brain is what's giving the instructions to the body to perform the golf swing. So if your brain's out of energy, doesn't have the right protein, doesn't have the sugars, the carbohydrates in there for your nerves to work, then guess what? You're going to lose your swing and soon thereafter, you're going to lose your mind. So it's important that you eat. It's also important that you hydrate, that you're drinking water, right? We'll come back. That'll be a separate video by itself as well. If you like this video, please like it down below. Consider subscribing to the channel. If you want further information about PowerCore 360, go to PowerCore360.com.